It's Freddy versus Jason. We have the Glam Light collections for each. So if you want to see what she got and what I got, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I'm Chloe. And Bandit's hanging around with us. So if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So right after Thanksgiving on Black Friday, Glamlet was having a big sale. So I did get the Nightmare on Elm Street and the Friday the 13th collections. And we're going to show you what's in there. We're not going to do any looks on camera, but we will do some looks later on. And I'll kind of tag them into there and throw them on Instagram so you can see. There is an actual Freddy vs. Jason movie, by the way. There is. And it was really funny, but really bad. Alright. I'll go in with my first item, which I'm holding here. Alright, first up, I got this Nightmare on Elm Street mirror and it kind of looks like a little street sign. Ooh, scary! And then as you can see, oh, they are beautiful. Oh, never mind. And in my package, I have the Jason mirror. So obviously, my bag's the best. So each came with a bag. Okay, maybe your bag is, but still. Mine is so cute. And it says, never sleep again. Because he attacks you when you're sleeping. Mine has little hatchets. For the pull strings. And uh, mine's just normal. Ooh, ooh, there's Freddy Claus on the side though. Because he has... Knife fingers, girl. All right, so hers is more of a train case. Mine is more looking like a, a VHS. Ah, oh, mine's bigger. I like them both. I like how Freddy is funny, but I like the kind of self of Jason. And what about the movies in general? Which one's your favorite? The original Nightmare on Elm Street or the original, um... I, I know this one, uh, Friday the 13th. Probably God. the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Me too. Because it was a little newer and it had Johnny Depp in it. Yeah, and it's, it's, so we all know about the guy in a mask from the a summer camp, drawn over and over and over again, which that movie really pioneered, I think was the first one? Yeah. And so that's what makes it better than all the rest of them. Like the ones that are like that. But this one is more original because like he can haunt you in your dreams. And his backstory is a lot more complex. Okay. So these are my brushes. Here yeah, they're eye brushes. And the mid. There's like splatter. Look on the wood look at mine. Ooh. And you might be thinking what's so special about that, huh? Look, it looks like little vials of blood. You we blush and highlighter really similar. So anyway, so chest of souls. And this is a blush trio. And this is the Jason Lives highlighter. Now this is pretty amazing. Don't you mean Freddy Lives? Jason Lives, because I have to Oh Jason. uh oh my no, I mean I'm you said Freddy Lives, didn't you? I thought I said Jason Lives. No, and then I meant to say, do you mean Jason Lives? But I accidentally said, do you mean Freddy Lives? Oh my god. Anyways. This looks super cute. And maybe take the plastic off so they can see and yeah. swatch it. I'm not swatching it. And here are the beautiful, and there's claw marks, and then Jason, and then a hand. And they're all really pretty colors. And I'm never giving away anything from these kind of palettes, like the Screen palette, Hello Kitty palettes, Nightmare on Elm Street palettes. We just don't give that away. Or Scooby Doo. So there's the outside. Start off by talking about Friday the 13th. Well, so Friday the 13th came out um, 
I was probably in middle school. I am going to swatch. Now this is a dual chrome with some blue. Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. Yeah. I think yours, like color wise, yours is like your highlighter is better than the blushes. But I like the like the packaging and the embroidery mm -hmm. better. And uh, you know, like you say, this was kind of the pioneer of the summer camp man in mask movies. Um, really set to that whole like there there always used to be the rules to horror, right? So. If you've ever seen A Cabin in the Woods, it goes over, like, all of the cast of characters. So, you get yeah, or scream. But it has, you know, it has not only a set of rules, but each character, you know, there's always that final girl. There's always the, um... Stoner? The whore that is usually the first one to go. The stoner. Um, so, you know, it really kind of set the stage for the movies that came out after that. There was Halloween before this, then this came out, then the next big hit was The Nightmare Before Elm Street. So horror movies don't usually do great at the box office. They do okay. You know, there are fans who are always going to go see them, but these were big box office smashes. So I love horror movies. I've always loved horror movies. Um, I don't know. She's into horror movies now. What about the plot? The plot? Well, the plot is there are... Okay. Alright, these are our lip kits. We also have... This is... Dark. Oh my god! Spiders! Here is mine. I have a lip pencil and a lipstick. I have this lipstick with spiders on it. Woo, mom, woo! She's here of spiders. And mine has like blood drips. And then I have another one that just says Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't know. These aren't really my colors. That's a lip oil. Oh, not that one. This one right here. Oh, yeah. I was talking about these two. Oh, I didn't even see that. So there is that which i think that's a really pretty color definitely all right i'll switch to that too. uh well yeah continue talking about the plot so it's a summer camp group of camp counselors are there to open it up it has been reopened after, after a drowning death so this has like a nice dark kind of lip liner and so none of the kids are there yet. It's just the camp counselors, and they are being hunted down one by one. And why is like and <clears throat> well, that, I don't want to oh. give it away. Oh, true, true. I don't want to give it away. Should I tell the backstory or not? For Patty, sure. All right. So this takes place in a small little town, and there was this janitor, right? His name was Freddie. And he was a, well, how do I put this so YouTube doesn't like, demon, uh, like, snack bar channel? A he had person who loves children, let's just say. Unhealthy relationships. A, a lover of child, of children. A lot. An EDP. A cupcake lover, yeah. That's what we'll call a cupcake lover. And, um, once the, pe the law let me see, let me see the right. Oh, oops, I put it in wrong. So, oh, and here's the. Oh, you put the lipsticks on your hand. Yeah, and okay. the lip oil too. Okay, because I did it because I didn't think you did. Oh, <laughs> all right. And so the law wouldn't really do much about it because he got he had a good lawyer, and so they took it into their own hands and burnt him alive. And so now, years later. He comes back to hunt to like kill the children, but he can't kill them when they're awake. He can only kill them when they're sleeping. And they'll have these elaborate dreams where Freddy's in there. And it gets pretty wacky. And I think that's all I can say. Because there's a plot twist I can't really say, but okay. So next in mine are some lashes. No, there aren't any lashes in hers. I think the lip oil was the 
extra in hers. I think that's it. For These are the camp counselor lashes. Yeah, I have palettes. two more palettes. All right. Hers came with two palettes. Mine came with one. Uh -huh. But you got that weird thingy. So I have the Never Sleep Again. Oh, uh, t the 10 color Dream Master palette. Ooh, and they all have the cool imprints. These are all pretty reds and golds and a few other colors like the green. What a gorgeous palette. Don't and think. I have a candle, which is kind of odd, I know, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. I like candles. Or do you think it smells like? I don't know. We'll find out. The woods? Ooh. Let's see. Well, we so could, if we want to smell ooh. the woods, we could just step outside, Mom. Welcome to Camp Blood. Mm, it kind of has a fruity scent. I kind of thought it was going to be like a cherry or a strawberry. Yeah, definitely cherry. Oh, cherry woods. Yeah, that's, where, that's exactly what it says. Cherry woods. Fresh scent of cherry woods. Yeah, because you said forest. Like, if we want to smell the forest, we could just step outside, Mom. Like... Anything else you'd want to talk about horror related or favorite movies or first movie that you watched that was a horror movie? Well, my first one was Halloween. Yeah, I know that. I'm but... a I'm a OG Michael Myers girl. And here what is was my first my horror movie mom. Palette. I think it was Friday the thirteenth, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was. I think it was probably more like a children's type one. No, no, no like actual horror movie. Because I know like my first one was like probably Goosebumps or something. But yeah, I mean like an actual horror movie. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure the first actual. Because I used to watch a lot of Goosebumps, um, and like also like shows with like ghosts and stuff like um, Haunted House. It's a animated show, and um, some other stuff that's for younger demographic, but still like horror. But I think my, I'm pretty sure my first actual war movie was Friday the 13th. And these have Jason Lives on there. When I was 11, I think, or 10. I don't know. Probably like 10 or like. You're definitely older because you were afraid of, you were afraid of the bad Kermit in the market. <laughs> yeah. Movie, so. Um, yeah, I think I was like 10 or 11. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure like I was almost 11 at that time. Um, and your favorite movie is horror movie? Hmm. That's a hard one. Because there's so many good ones out there. Let's start with your favorite, like, trope or, like, kind of horror movie. Are you more of a slasher or a psychological? I am more of a demonic entity. Hmm. Supernatural. I like the supernatural. Yeah, I kind of like the ones with the monsters rather than just normal slashers, even though mm -hmm. there are some really good classics. Mm -hmm. um, Sixth Sense was pretty good. And then there was also like another one, it was based on a true story, where like the guy, like the, the ghost like carved numbers on people's foreheads and that's how long they had to live or something. Or, I'm not completely sure. I don't know. So it was like about a guy and his wife died in a car accident, and then like there's and he can talk to ghosts. That was Sixth Sense. No, oh, his wife didn't die though; he died. Yeah, in Sixth Sense, he's like a therapist and he yeah. died. I'm talking about the one where they were both in a car accident. I watched this one with Dad, oh. and then um. From, and he survived, but his wife didn't. And now he can see ghosts and talk mm -hmm. to them. And so he, like, runs this fake business where he, like, pretends to get rid of ghosts in your house, even mm -hmm. though he's the one, you know. And then this evil ghost comes along and writes no, numbers on people's foreheads, and that's how long they have to live. I think it's how long they have to live. I'm not sure, but they heal like mm -hmm. a number on their forehead. And he has to, like, defeat the ghost or blah, blah, blah. And there's this other girl, and complicated okay and your favorite flat and your favorite slash is halloween probably halloween and you know though i really like 
the remake by Rob Zombie, the Halloween one and two by mm, Rob Zombie. Yeah, yeah, that those was were good. really well done. Rob Zombie so, is so good at making movies. I did, I did really like those. Um, favorite all time though, you know, I do love the Evil Dead series, even though the first one is cheesy as can be. Um, I mean, they had they had such a low budget. So did the original Halloween. I think the original Halloween's budget was like three hundred thousand or something like that. But which is still like a lot of money, but not nearly not as for, much. Right, not for a, a movie. Yeah. But I, um, I uh, love Sam Raimi yeah. and Rob Depar. I love everything that they did. Hot take: Halloween should have stopped after Halloween two. Like it has been dragged on way too long, and that last movie. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was awful. Yeah, Michael Myers as a senior citizen just doesn't play well. But they have, since they have finished it, John Carpenter has uh, bid to get the rights. I'm not really sure if he did or did not. But the rich, so in the original series, right, Halloween 3, is kind of like the black sheep. It, it, it wasn't tied in. It wasn't a Michael Myers. So the original plan had been to do Halloween 1 and 2 with Michael Myers, and then to kind of take off each Halloween with a different theme. So no yeah. more Michael Myers. But when Halloween 3 came out, the public was, it was an outcry. Like, what is this? Where's Michael Myers? This makes no sense. What are you doing? And so John Carpenter stepped out because that's what we, he had wanted to do. And I think I can understand his feelings, but... It really, if you have a series where you already have a, an identified monster of whatever sort, whether human or, or supernatural, you can't then just have a third in the series and have it be different. So I can see why people were upset. It was a good standalone movie, but it just wasn't a Halloween movie. So it probably should not have been Halloween 3, but something else. But they are looking at repicking up from that theory and rebooting that where Halloween 3 ended with a different one each year. So there's a lot of happenings in the in the horror world if you're into yeah. into horror movies. Scream 7 um, has has had to halt production. They lost both of their stars. They fired the uh, one that played Samantha. Why? Oh, um, oh, because oh of I know. Something she posted that they It wasn't was even that bad like all she did is, she said, like, basically what she said is, like, stand Palestine, and, like, it's bad, like, war is bad, and there should be peace on both sides, and that it's awful that Palestinian people are being brutally genocided. So, they, the, the, the parent company decided oh. that they did, they, they didn't want to have her involved, they felt like it was just too... Um, inflammatory, so they fired her, and then Jenna Ortega, who was going to carry the movie, had to quit because she had Wednesday. her Wednesday series on Netflix. So, with both of them gone, there have been some talks to get Nev Campbell back because... Oh my um, god, please, no, she's starting Courtney to... Cox did survive in the last movie. She is the final girl of all final girls. She's was in, I believe, every single Scream movie, and is your real final girl. She was in Scream 1 through 4, but honestly, I don't think they should bring her back. Like, she's already been through enough, and it'll just be too, like, too cliche. She's been through this too many times. It's just like, no, that's getting old. Like, you have four movies with her. You don't need another one. And I am old school. Bring back Gail Weathers. Bring back... I Nick hate Gail Emma. Weathers. <laughs> I hate her. She's so annoying. Bring Sydney like, back. Let's see what's going to happen Maybe have here. Sydney's the like, kids be the target instead of her. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe have her as, like, a side character. But I really don't want her being the main character. Although I do want her to live, I don't want her to be a main character. Or maybe, like, you know, like, I just don't want her to be a main character. And I felt like the whole um, Scream 5 and 6, those were kind of, like, it was kind of a stretch for me. Like, I liked the movies. But, like, oh, it's Billy's long-lost daughter. Ooh. Uh, it, was, it was a bit too, you know, cliche. Not really. I, I like the movie. I just feel like it could have been executed a bit better. So they are looking at also bringing back Patrick Dempsey from Scream 3. So 
It remains to be seen what they end up doing. Scream is probably our favorite series altogether. Yes. It's consistently good, although consistently the same. But I think if you have a formula that works for you, why not keep it, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope that if they do make something different, please don't make it something like that. Please be something reasonable, like something tied to the series. Like Sydney's kid, like I suggested, or... Well, the twins are still alive, too. Yeah, but, like, do we really need another movie with them? I don't know. Especially not with, or, or like, they weren't the main characters. They were, like, mm -hmm. well, they were big players, but they weren't as, I feel like, people, you know. And although it did kind of leave on a cliffhanger for number, for Scream 6, so it would make sense. But without those two main characters, it just wouldn't work. So I think they should try a different plot line. All right. Well, those are our opinions about the horror world. And um, we hope that you have enjoyed listening to us, even if you don't like horror movies, um, listening to our banter and our film reviews. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending a little time with us. What do we want them to do? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you please. And hopefully we'll see you soon.